So Grant, very early days, but were you happy with what you saw today? Yeah, on a whole, um, it's listen, it's a fitness exercise again. I'm, I'm going to repeat myself on all these pre-season games, but um, it was it was a chance to get another 45 minutes uh, under the you know under their belts. Um, I thought the, the first half group for 30 minutes were excellent. Uh, two 0 up, possibly could have been four 0 up with the two penalties um, decisions that the referee didn't give. I'm sure everyone was bemused at. Um, you know that then I think for 15. Well, I know for 15 minutes I thought we felt as if the game was comfortable, not easy, comfortable. Um, we wanted to take one or two more touches, we wanted to dribble, we wanted to try and nutmeg somebody. Um, little things that we can knock out of them in pre-season. Um, told, the, told the lads that in, in the change room at half-time. And, and ultimately, you know, you, cut, you, you pay the price and they get back into the 2-2. Two -two. So, second half group, I thought they were excellent um, on a whole. The whole 45 minutes, yep, we conceded a sloppy goal, but I thought they were excellent on a whole. I thought the pressing from... Uh, Grant, um, Michael Doherty, the voice, the voice from them too, really just press helping the, the younger ones and Andrea and Leo and uh, Morgan Penfold was uh, was excellent second half. With your 45 minutes over the the two games, are you happy with where everyone is on the the fitness side of things? No, no, I'm not, I'll never be happy until you know I know they're finally tuned and ready for the season. It's it's a work in progress. They're they're getting there. Um, you know, we'll step it up on on Tuesday night to the 60s. So it's um, uh, we're getting there. We, the fitness levels are good on a whole, but they can be a lot better. And we've got one of the best in the business here, and Ben McKenzie, and he will make sure once we get to uh, you know the first game against Plymouth, everyone will be finally finally tuned and and at the highest peak of their fitness levels. And you've had a a nice sprinkling of the younger players in there. Are you pleased with how they're getting on? I am, yeah, I am. I think uh, I think young Lewis Freestone's been excellent in the two games. Um, he's going to be a you know a tremendous player in the future, and, and now he is. He's excellent at the minute. Um, Andrea's playing in a different position. He's probably used to uh, a wide. He's more of a number ten. Um, good to see Morgan score today. Um, you know he's he's a first year pro now, Morgan, and possibly needs to, to go out and play some men's football, which we'll look at. Um, conversation I've already had with Morgan that he needs to go out and probably play six months six months maybe to a year uh, in, in a physical you know environment and, and get to know uh, what it's like to get kicked up in the air and things like that and start using his body a bit more but pleased with him today pleased to see him score a goal um, you know so the young lads are the young lads have been doing well nice to see little Jack Gurney you know he's a he's a 16 year old boy he's just a first year um, he's played a lot in the youth team last year he's come on again today for um, you know for Guion um, he, he's going to be a good player in the future as well so once you move on to the 60 minutes, is it fairly arbitrary who you give the, the 62 first of all and then the, the 30? No, 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 it'll be two 60s. It's not, not 30, it's uh, two 60s. So we play um, 30 minutes, then we, then we break, and then we play 30 minutes, then we break, um, and then we do it again. So um, that's, that's, that's the plan, and uh, everyone, everyone in the squad who was here today will get 60 each. Yeah, it's all nice and set. With Harry Anderson and, and Jack Marriott, are they... Both okay. I mean, obviously they they wouldn't want to be injured, but are they they're not too serious? And, and is Jack kind of where you thought he would be? Jack will uh, Jack and Harry will both be fine for Saturday. Um, uh, you know, I spoke to the physio today. Um, the only question mark over Harry was his left in his arm, where he's fell on his shoulder. Um, he actually got tackled by Lewis Freestone in training. It was a it was a great tackle from Lewis, and Harry just landed funny on his on his uh, on his shoulder. So I think he'd be fine to go Thursday. Um, Jack again, uh, similar. Um, he's been doing everything we have in terms of the running and training. He's been working hard with the physio, probably you know really hard. I think he's feeling it at the minute. Um, but in terms of that, but he'll be good to go. I think to train with us on Thursday and um, you know to make his make his Peter debut on on Saturday. I know managers are always looking to to add to their side, and and I know you've said about the fitness as well. But with this group of players, if the League One season started tomorrow, you, you're happy with what you've got. You've done a lot of business early. Have you got the the quality that you need already? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I think we possibly will need one more in a certain position. Um, I won't say that at the minute, but um, you know, if, I think if we get that, we've got a real good chance. Um, the squad is completely different than last year in terms of the mentality, the the aggression, the hunger, um, everything that we've spoken about that we needed to change um, definitely has changed. And um, you know, it may not it may not have some of the ability that the squad had last year, but it has a completely different determination and one that wants to win. 
um, you know they have got the ability as well, which is uh, you know, which is good for me. But um, I think you know what I'm saying there. The attitude is, is, is definitely a lot better. And I know you're anxious not to read too much into either of the performances so far, given the the nature of the games. But have we maybe seen a little bit of that hunger in in some of the finishing? Definitely, definitely. I mean, I think you've seen. With Ricky Miller's finish today, it's just calm. He's not trying to, you know, he's not trying to do anything else. He's just putting the ball underneath the goalkeeper. Um, the finish from Michael Doherty, you know, reversing it off a post, top corner, and then to, even Tom Nicholas's finish in the second, you know, in the second half was excellent. Good little bit of play, tenacity when the ball back finish. Um, you know, I think the the, the biggest, the big, the big, uh, the best goal probably tonight for me was probably the fifth goal. Because I could hear from the bench the, the voice of Doherty, the voice of Anthony Grant. Go on, go on, press. Leo reacted off and won the ball back, and you know, a tremendous finish. So, yep, really, really pleased. Um, pleased to see Junior get another goal as well. Um, he's looked really sharp, and he's deserved it.